What is delay? Delay is an audio processing technique that records an input source to a storage medium, then plays it back after a user-defined period of time. Depending on the parameters, the signal may repeat once or multiple times and can even be fed back into itself. To create a decaying echo effect, delay can be a great way to add space to a track without taking up much room in the mix. Much like reverb, delay can be used to push a track back in the mix and create the illusion of depth. It can also be used to make tracks sound wider by using a stereo delay on a mono signal or panning the delay to the opposite side of the mix. Delay can be a great way to add rhythmic excitement to your track. Whether you're adding subtle ambience to simulate an acoustic space or creating trippy radiohead style delay loops, delay can be a potent form of ear candy that catches the listener's attention. History of delay units. Originally, delays were created using analog tape loops, a technique developed by Pierre Schaeffer the 1940s. Tape loops are created by splicing a section of tape end to end, which can be looped to playback continuously. The length of the loop controls the length of the repeated sounds. At first, tape loops and delays were used to create unique rhythms, textures, and timbers in the form of musique concrete. By the 1960s and 70s, popular artists began experimenting with analog delay units to create interesting new sounds that fueled the psychedelic, progressive and ambient genres. Some of the most popular examples of early tape delays are the Echoplex EP2 and the Roland RE201 Space Echo, popularized by Brian Eno. Boss released the DD2, the world's first digital delay pedal in 1984, ushering in a new era of time-based effects. Digital delays offer more sophisticated and complex effects than traditional analog delay, such as reverb, time stretching and even pitch shifting. Delay versus reverb. At this point, you may be wondering about the differences between reverb and delay. Both are time-based effects, but they add depth and space to mixes in different ways. Technically, reverb is a form of delay. What you're hearing is the sound of a delayed signal being played back in a reverberant space, which colors and smears the sound. All reverbs are delays, but not all delays are reverbs. Traditional delays simply repeat the original signal without simulating what it would sound like in an acoustic space. Others color the sound with different materials, like magnetic tape or different types of metal, but they don't smear the time element like reverbs do. Delay controls. Most delay units feature pretty straightforward controls. The first is delay time, which is typically measured in milliseconds. This controls how long of a delay there is, between the source signal and the delayed signal. You can set the delay time manually, by ear, or use some simple math to figure out the perfect timing. There are 60,000 milliseconds in a minute. To determine how long a beat is based on the BPM of your song, use this formula, 60,000 BPM equals one beat in milliseconds. For example, if you're working on a track that's 120 BPM, one beat is 500 milliseconds, 60,000, 120 equals 500. Thankfully, most delay units also include a time sync feature, which automatically syncs up with the BPM of your track. So all you have to do is select the note length. In addition to standard delay durations like 1 8 note, 1 quarter note, and half note, most delay units also allow advanced note durations like dotted notes and triplets. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. One of the key elements of delay is feedback, which controls how much of the signal is fed back into the delay unit 
and ultimately how many times something is repeated. When feedback is set to 0%, the signal is repeated once. When the feedback is set to 100%, it creates an infinite feedback loop, so be careful. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Force taking over, 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 force to help push the back in the mix and create space. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Some delay units include rate controls, which adjust the rate at which the modulated signal oscillates. Turn up the rate to create a phasey sound, that can be used to create different types of effects. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but it feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, big girl, if you like it. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, big girl, if you like it. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Finally, the wet slash dry controls adjust the balance between the original signal and the delayed signal. When using an effects end, it's best to use 100% wet and 0% dry to retain complete control over both signals on separate faders. For one-off effects like throw delays, you can add the plug-in directly to the channel and adjust the wet slash dry controls to taste. Force taking over, we're catching, we're catching vibes. vibes. Pulling me closer, Pulling me closer baby, I'm magnetized. I'm magnetized. So used to so dodging used to feelings, feelings, but this feels, but nice. feels nice. So give me more, so give of, me it, more of it, girl, if you like, like it. it. Force taking, Force taking over, over, we're catching we're vibes. Catching vibes. Pulling me closer, Pulling me closer baby, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to so dodging used to feelings, feelings, but this feels but nice. So give me so more give of me it, more girl, if you like it. it. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Types of delay effect. Phaser. Effects delay different frequencies by varying amounts, which creates a rolling, kind of underwater sound that works well for beefing up thin guitar tones. To create a phaser effect, set the delay time at 0 milliseconds, or as fast as the plug-in will allow, and crank the rate controls to increase the amount of modulation. The rate controls adjust how much the signal oscillates, or how quickly it sweeps through different frequencies.
Flangers are similar to phasers but sound a little more obvious and apparent in the mix. They work by mixing an LFO into the original signal to create a shifting or sweeping sound across the frequency spectrum. Flangers are typically used to make instruments sound thicker or simulate a doubling effect. One common mixing technique that uses a flanger is called the Haas effect, or the precedence effect. This technique is typically used to convert a mono track to a stereo track by duplicating the signal, running it through a flanger or short delay, typically 1 to 5 milliseconds, and panning the two signals hard left and right. However, since the delay is so short, our ears perceive both signals as one sound, the original. The duplicated track adds space and depth without becoming overpowering in the mix. Force taking over, we catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it. Another common type of effect created using delay is chorus. Similar to a flanger, choruses use slightly longer delays, typically between 5 and 30 milliseconds, to simulate the effects of double tracking. Chorus effects use LFOs to introduce subtle variations in pitch and timing to make it sound like you recorded multiple takes. Chorus effects are commonly used to thicken up keyboards and clean guitars, and were a staple on just about every instrument in the 80s. Chorus effects also work great on vocals, especially for making background vocals and stacks sound huge. Force taking over, we're catching vibes. Pulling me closer, baby, I'm magnetized. So used to dodging feelings, but this feels nice. So give me more of it, girl, if you like it.